Oh, the lighting is better than it was in the last sit down video I filmed. I hope it doesn't bother you that I'm not sitting in the middle of the couch. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be super fun to share with y'all some of my unpopular book opinions. <laughs> Starting off with books that I didn't like that a lot of people did like. Never Let Me Go, Girl on the Train, Seven Husbands, Daisy Jones and the Six. It ends with us, people we meet on vacation. Let me explain a little bit. Never Let Me Go? I know it won like a Nobel Prize. Personally, I thought that mm, there wasn't that much happening. I know it's probably supposed to have like some philosophical meaning. When I'm reading books, I use it more as a form of escapism. So I'd rather read something that's gonna take my mind off of the reality of the world crashing down around us. Not my favorite. Girl on the Train. I wonder if maybe it's something to do with the fact that like I'm only 21, like I'm younger. I feel like I'm probably not in the right stage of my life to be able to fully comprehend everything that's happening in that book, but I thought it was really creepy, not in a like thriller way, but in a like, this lady needs some help way. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I mean, I guess I liked it better than the other two that I read. However, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not entirely up to date on what's going on with the movie that's coming, that's being made, that's coming out. I'm not entirely sure what's real and what's not. But from what I've seen, it's like Jessica Chastain and Camila Cabello playing like the two female main characters in this book, which is like, they don't match. And personally, I'm not a big fan of Camila Cabello, so. People we meet on vacation. I know everybody and their mother absolutely loves Emily Henry. Her books are like bestsellers for weeks. Everybody loves them. People We Meet On Vacation was actually the first book that I read when I was getting back into reading. And I just felt that they went through the whole book and had so much build up to like the main problem. That was like why these two aren't friends anymore. And then just like the problem was underwhelming to be honest. The build up made it seem like they had like murdered somebody. That was the magnitude to which I thought that the problem was. But then it was like, not that. It ends with us. There were so many times that I almost DNF'd that book, but I was reading it for a book club, so I finished reading it. But that book made me so mad for reasons it wasn't supposed to make you mad. I don't like classics. I just struggle so much to read them. Around the same time I read People We Meet on Vacation, I tried to read uh, Pride and Prejudice and I don't even think I made it a quarter of the way through the book. And I, and I, I was reading it for a book club and I usually am pretty good about reading books for a book club. Like I finished It Ends With Us but I wanted to DNF it several times but I read it for the book club. I'm usually pretty good at reading books if I'm reading them for a book club, even if I don't particularly like them. But that one, I just, I couldn't get through it. Romance is not my favorite genre. I did not mind Light Lark by Alex Astor. It wasn't my, I was, it was not my favorite. It was not my favorite and it was nothing like the books that she was viral on TikTok for claiming that it was like those book, like the Hunger Games and something else where she claimed that it was like that. It was not anything like that. Um, but it wasn't, I didn't mind it. <laughs> Will I read? I had actually pre-ordered that book prior to everyone getting the arcs and saying that it was not as good as she originally claimed it to be. Um, but I still pre had it on pre-order and I got it. Um, I will not be pre-ordering the next book, but maybe in a couple years I'll read the second one. I'm not entirely opposed to it. So I absolutely loved It Starts With Us, which I know is a very unpopular opinion, 
a lot of people hated it. <laughs> and I mean, I can understand where they're coming from, okay? Because, you know, she didn't originally write It Ends With Us to have a sequel. There wasn't really any plot devices left for her to create a sequel. And so basically, from my perspective, in my opinion, the entirety of the book is just like one big epilogue. And um, one of my least favorite things in rom-coms is how you never get to see the couple being an actual couple. Because they're hardly a couple to begin with when they get together and then they always have a third act breakup and then they get back together right as the screen fades to black and it's the end of the movie. And you never actually get to see the couple being a real couple. And that to me is just the entirety of what it and it starts with us was. And I loved it. I prefer hardbacks to paperbacks. I share my books with my mom a lot and I just recently found out that she is one of those people who folds the cover over on paperbacks. And um, if I don't give her hardbacks, she will do that to my books. I am a TBR reader, not a mood reader. I think I'm just too indecisive of a person. Ooh. I prefer season one of The Summer I Turned Pretty series over the first book in the series. Now that probably has everything to do with the fact that I watched the series before I read the books because now watching the trailer I'm like this looks nothing like the books. Okay the trailer that came out like today or yesterday that looks more like the books however not wh why is there just a random new character in there and sorry Cam Cameron what are you doing there either like who are you? I prefer to buy my books secondhand rather than buying new books. Books are expensive, but they're not nearly as expensive if you buy them off of thrift books, which is where I get most of my books. Most of the books that I have bought myself since getting back into reading were secondhand. I'm saving money, I get to buy more books. Say, you're buying a book and it's brand new. If it's $12, I can buy three books for that price from thrift books. I prefer series to standalones. Cause I just feel like in a standalone, you can't get to know the characters enough cause there's not enough time for the author to really establish those relationships and who the characters are in your eyes. The last one is that reading keeps my attention better than TV does. I don't know what happened, but recently within the last like six months, I have absolutely ruined my attention span because now for some reason I cannot watch TV unless I am doing something else. Like scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through Pinterest, going through my emails or like I have a coloring app that I downloaded on my iPad. Like for some reason, I just cannot sit and watch TV. I have to be doing something else. But if I'm reading, I can just be reading. I don't need to listen to anything. I am just reading. And so I prefer reading over watching TV because reading keeps my attention better for some reason. I don't know why. And the other thing is that with TV and movies, for some reason, I just can't keep myself from spoiling it for myself. Like say I was like, recently it happened with, I was watching One Tree Hill for the first time and I've only gotten to like season two of that. But like I had questions about like where the characters ended up at the end of the series. And instead of just being like, oh, well obviously you're gonna find out if you continue watching the series, I Googled it. So I completely spoiled the series for myself on purpose. I don't do that with books. I guess maybe because books are shorter and I can get to the end quicker than I can with a super long TV series. Anyways, guys, that is it for my unpopular book opinions. Some of them might not be as unpopular as I think that they are. Um, but those were all the lists. Maybe someday 
we'll come back with a part two, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, I will see you guys next week. Bye.